Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. So it is only day three of my 13 days of Halloween where I have locked myself in to the asylum and things are already getting pretty crazy uh, because today's movie is from 2016. I'm talking about Zombies, directed by Glenn Miller. So this is a mix of exactly what you think it is. This is basically Jurassic Park meets The Walking Dead, but they're not dinosaurs. So maybe Jurassic Park isn't the best uh, example, but it's it's similar because they're, it's a zoo it's it's just ridiculous, but it's just ridiculous enough that it's kind of fun. So let's talk about it. Day three, guys. If you are enjoying this series, please give it a like down below. That really does help me out. But let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right into day three where we can talk about Zombies. <laughs> just a ridiculous title. I just, I don't even know. So Zombies is the first one so far where I don't own the physical version of it. So fortunately, it was on uh, Amazon Prime Video, so I was able to watch it that way. It's included with your Prime subscription. So if you're interested and you have Prime, that is an easy, cheap, uh, basically free included way, I guess I'll say, to watch it if you're interested. But um, this one, of course, like I already mentioned, from 2016, directed by Glenn Miller. Uh, we start off and there are these monkeys at this zoo that we are going to be spending the entire film in. And something has happened to them. A virus has attacked them and they are essentially turning into zombie monkeys. And of course, Things are not just going to stay in that little room with the monkeys. They escalate from there, eventually taking over this zoo. And we are following, uh, our main character is our zoo director. Um, and she is uh, with her little with her little girl. Uh, she is trying to keep her safe, uh, basically in the control room for the entirety of the film, or the majority of the film, trying to uh, kind of see where these animals are because they're all uh, chipped. And so there's like little dots on a map that she follows to, to see where everybody is. Um, and then we have a, a group of our security team along with some interns because today was the first day for these college interns to show up at the park so that just gives more fodder for the animals to start attacking people uh it is is absolutely ridiculous as you think it is based on that description and i will say this is the f it's a different style than i've watched so far in uh these 13 days because the first two were horror movies to the extreme like they were trying to be horror movies this one while i guess it is a horror movie it is listed as horror on imdb which is not the end all be all but it is there um and so that's why i included it because i obviously never seeing it before i didn't really know um but this is probably more action than horror frankly but it's still like an action horror almost comedy <laughs> at points um and intentionally so i feel like because it's, it's a different style it's going for something different than those first two movies were going for and with that said it I feel like it does a decent job of it. This is more along the lines with something like Sharknado, where it's clearly a ridiculous, over-the-top premise, but they're going to have fun with it. And uh, so, yeah, this one is one that you have to go into it with the right expectations. Uh, my wife ended up coming, uh, started watching it maybe about, I don't know, a third of the way into it or whatever. And it got a lot more fun at that point because we were just able to laugh at everything that was going on. And I wasn't laughing like negatively at the movie. Yes, it was ridiculous, but it's made to be that way, and I think they do that pretty well. I'll say that for the acting this time around, it did feel lesser than the first two movies, but again, I feel like that might be more the style that they were going for. Um, our main character is, uh, like I said, the director of the zoo, and uh, she is okay mostly fine at po but there's points where it it gets a little unbelievable i guess or you can tell that she's like winking to the camera which that part doesn't work when you're doing something like this like you, the car the actors need to be taking it seriously so that it's, you know, the audience can do the winking or, you know, can interpret the winking. Um, and so there were points where it was like, yeah, you knew what that line was doing and you played it up where, you you know, if you didn't do that, it might have landed a little bit better. But for the most part, I think she's good. The little girl, I think, does a really good job. Um, she's 
a supporting character, but she does well with what she's given. Um, she's super cute throughout it. So it was just fun to watch her. And there's a really awesome moment with her kind of at the midpoint. That is just so cool. I love, there's a, a specific shot that I just thought was awesome with her. Um, the security team, again, it, it's kind of hit and miss. The acting was not the problem with this. Like I've said with the other two, like it was fine. It was a little weaker than the other two movies, but it was fine. So it, do, it did what it needed to do. Um, it's just the premise is so absurd um, and you have to be willing to suspend disbelief for a while. Like, <laughs> it's just crazy. There's a point where a monkey pops out of a chest a la alien and it is amazing. Uh, there's a point where they, the security team is riding elephants and it's just like, what's going on here? A giraffe tears apart a person at, at one point. Like, I, it is just beyond ridiculous but because of that it's fun i had fun watching it i didn't find it slow at any point i thought it had a very good pacing to it you know this is not a movie i would recommend for someone that's looking for like a serious horror film but if you're looking for an action comedy horror sci-fi mix and you know what you're getting into then this isn't a terrible way to spend 89 minutes or 88 minutes or whatever it is so it is exactly what it is and they do a decent job with it. So I ended up giving this movie three out of five stars, which might sound a little ridiculous, but it's just fun. It's silly, stupid, turn your brain off, fun, and that's okay with me. That is perfectly fine every once in a while. So again, I am giving Zombies from 2016 three out of five stars. All right, so that is day three when things just got ridiculous. So I, I am interested to see what day four is going to bring. I will also mention that I didn't realize it going into this, but this is actually the first of a trilogy of these films. There is Zombies 2 from 2019, and then there is Aquarium of the Dead from 2021. Um, I was going to watch all three of them, but you have to pay for the second one, and then the third one is not available on Amazon Prime Video. So I just decided I'll hold off and wait till they're all available for free, and then I'll go back and revisit them because I would like to see where this goes like oh I didn't even mention the 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 uh, ape in this the gorilla in this is just bonkers like it is a mix of CGI and a person in a costume and it's just so silly and dumb but it is hilarious so anyway okay that is day three if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a like down below uh, like I always say that really does help me out and I don't just talk movies on this channel I'm talking all things media be it movies video games books books, graphic novels, manga. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for day three. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>